put some big names together and the results can often be pretty exciting. And one yacht we've been looking forward to seeing for quite a while now is the result of a collaboration between McConaughey Yachts, composite expert builders in the Far East, Jason Kerr Design and Design Unlimited, and this MC50 behind me just arrived in time for the show. It's something that's taken the living accommodation aspects of some modern cruising catamarans and combined it with McConaughey's composite know-how and some pretty clever engineering and structure. Looks pretty striking. Let's jump aboard. Absolutely enormous amount of living space for main deck. 40 meters squared, which is pretty unparalleled for this size yacht. Extends right out to this uh, hydraulically lifting bathing platform, which is also a tender platform as well, but gives you a, another sun deck area. And uh, that area is really opened out by these bifold doors. Huge carbon ring frame taking the loads of the traveler above uh, and the main aft bulkhead. Come up the steps to where all the sailing is done. From a flybridge area here. And this is really another pretty unique aspect of the boat is having everything here and I think it's something that you know will appeal to uh, monohull sailors converting to cats as well because you can see you get full vision of all quarters of the boat from up here all the lines led to electric winches here And with the traveller mounted there, forward of the helms, a great bench seat for those who want to sit out and enjoy the sun, because this is the best place to sit outside for sun worshippers, because everywhere is uh, protected from the sun on the main deck. Huge amount of coach roof space for solar panels etc and that massive skylight and toughened glass in the middle you see how the angular styling theme continues even on the coach roof half quarter here come out from a swim my shower built into the deckhead there nice wide steps up the uh, aft decks Plenty of space in the engine rooms. Maybe a big apartment area inside, but she's a proper sailing boat outside. Everything lightweight, rotating carbon rig, plenty of sail options, with self tacking jib. Overlapping Genoa, code sails, Jenicas, on furlers. Some really nice structural engineering work as well to take the longer on loads. So those are tie rods coming below that there. And again, uh, with the mast base as well. So you can see how this angled tie rod there comes from the rotating uh, mast base, the ball and socket joint basically taking the loads forward to the aft end of, of the longer on arm as well. Jason Kerr, the designer, is very well known for his engineering skills and it shows here. And also the skills of the yard, McConaughey, all of the carbon and metallic work here is, is all done in house. Another thing you notice here as well is those dramatically chined and stepped hulls. that help keep a very fine waterline and entry 
low down. So this is apartment feel is much more as you would have at home really. So a massive galley area that's centered and saloon area centered around this huge island. So on the galley side, you've got all your storage, cold storage and storage below the island and below the sink areas. And then that's convivial with the saloon area. So that's a coffee table which raises to flip over, become a dining table and get a separate coffee table area forward here. The brilliant feature is the amount of something you obviously can't see on video, but the amount of fresh air coming through these huge electric sliding windows, which slide right forward into cassettes where those forward two windows are. You can see it just there on that side. A forward facing central nav station to man a watch. Look straight out over the bows, over the four sails, or up at the rig from here. Very modern, stylish, light and airy feel to the boat and to the design by Design Unlimited in the UK. You come down, starboard hull is the owner's hull. So big island berth, drop down there with its own hull window, plural. Slightly unusual this one, it has a, their own sort of private coffee zone as it were, so you can shut these, shut these doors off here, shut yourself off from friends or other guests. Um, sit down, have a coffee, do some work, laptop there, look out of that massive hull window. Uh, plenty of storage in those drawers and then obviously a uh, wardrobe changing area and leading into heads and shower forward. So another very unusual feature of the boat is it doesn't have dagger boards, but center boards. And they lift up hydraulically into, you can see the forward end of the casing here uh, and revolve on that single pin. Um, you can see the hydraulic ram in front of that. And extend aft right under the berth there to 3.7 meters deep. Uh, the idea with that is really, you know, dagger boards take up a lot of accommodation space and this is all hidden below the floor. It can be set at three different depths, uh, fully up, just below rudder depth uh, and fully down as well. So it looks like it could be a really clever solution for this sort of size boat. And then dropping down into the port side accommodation, a bit more of a sort of standard layout. You know, twin family cabin aft, those two berths can join to form a double. Every cabin has this amazing amount of natural light and, and views really. I mean, you just really appreciate the water around you as you should on a boat. And same again in the gas cabin here with a raised island berth, plenty of headroom above it. And again, yeah, a thwartship's double, you lie back, you look out at that huge port light. Plenty of stowage in the wardrobe. And the smart heads shower area. Pretty appealing combination of a performance yacht and a comfortable cruising boat.